It's Nintendo Sony Freak 2011 here at Game Mania with Green Guys and Wrestling Drew Dimes, which is the channel. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Bitch You Brighty on Rumble, Odyssey, and of course, Flow. Just in case anything bad happens to this channel. But, anyways. <clears throat> oh, I literally came on this the other night. Like I said before in the other video, shout out to my boy Tyro Magnus Gaming, bro. Absolute god when it comes to like. I don't know his like let's plays and stuff. Some of his let's plays are crap, but when he does some Street Fighter and then some Batman, Spider Man, Miles Morales shit, on top of the world, in my own personal opinion. I didn't mean to see was like he was like a bumbling idiot in the last video, but you know, I have to. just showing him a little bit of harsh love. It's a tough love, anyways. Breaking news! Literally, this happened the other day. <laughs> oh man, I would be so freaking upset and angry as all freaking hell. This bull crap would happen to me, honestly. I'll be real with you. Like I said, free Brave, man. That's just the way to go. Brave shows. I'm not getting no hashtag sponsors or hashtag advertising. None of this shit. Just, I truly recommend you use this shit, man, honestly. Being truthful and honest with you. I've never scammed or showed anything like Patreon or any of this other bullshit like coffee, OnlyFans, PayPal, any of that shit. So you know you can trust me, bro. I'm just saying. I'm on this platform for almost 10 years. By January 6th, it'll be like my right 16th anniversary since I've been using YouTube. I'm on like 15 years of doing videos. Sanity, huh? Anyway, this comes from some random person. Admin, the Amazon delivery man. Quote, Amazon delivery man who stole the PS5. He was supposed to deliver his fire. Record by security cameras. Probably from one of those Ring apps. Or even Google Nest or Alexa or any of that shit. Or Watson. Ever type of 1994, the Wally and Nightmare like tech that they have nowadays. And almost 2021, literally a month and one week from now, it's going to be 2021. Can you believe it? Man, yeah, I know this year has been insanely crazy. Half of the shit I saw like 13 years ago when I first woke up, I'm talking about alternative media truth or community wise. Not the tinfoil conspiracy theories, Tara. Hair conspiracy theories. Like, oh, the slaver camp. But not bullshit, Alice Jones or Mark Dice. I remember 13 and a half years ago when I woke up and I was a very, very young ass man. It was like 2006 or 07, probably 07, so I was about 17 or 18 at the time, almost 18 years old. I saw the shit was going to happen. The two biggest ones, in my opinion, was like the whole FEMA thing, the police state, and um, the cashless society. It's already happening, bro. I'm not going to get into that rabbit hole. You guys can do your own research on that. I've talked about it a lot on my bitch and bright down. Be sure to follow, and follow me over there. So I'm going back to my old lays out there pretty effing soon once January comes around. Because December, I'm probably going to do nothing but hopefully reactions and super drama news like that. <laughs> and that's it. But anyway, it says Amazon Fire's delivery man. Let me read this right. Delivery man who stole the PlayStation 5, a.k.a. the PS5. Oh, okay. Wait, hold on. I went there way too fast. There it is. The PS5 he was supposed to deliver, and he was recorded by a security camera. The family received the refund, but not a replacement. No consoles left. <laughs> the launch of the PS5 is causing many unwanted problems. Demand has clearly been exceedingly supplied. All available console units have been sold out. Sony has happy. <clears throat> they have the best launch that they have had the best best launch ever, but many users have been unable to buy it and do not know whether more units will be released or not. The worst thing is that some of the users, some of the users, not all, managed to book book it have been left without it because the console has a mysterious disappearing in the delivery process. This is the case of many families in the, probably going to butcher this because I know British and Australian people, they have a different way of speaking English compared here in the United States and Canada. I think they would said, um, Bishasta, Bachesta, Bichesta. Like the Aussies will say, I'm going to call it Bicester, or Bicester, Bicester. I think that's how you say it in the UK. Sorry for anyone who's in uh, British, um, UK, and Australia people out there in New Zealand. Hopefully, I don't offend the hell out of you. Your, your guys' countries are going through a lot of crap, just like ours is, as far as the politics and the bullshit goes. Anyways, um, let's move on. Let's continue. Um, the mother, Jenny Walker, managed to book a consult for her son, who was 16 years old. On that day, the console arrived, 19th of November. However, the consoles never arrived, although, according to Amazon products, the products were shipped. Okay. Video recording with a home security camera shows a delivery man. Oh, this, listen to this. <laughs> delivering several packages to the house. 
He is also seen taking a larger box out of the van when he then puts it without delivering it. Look at that shit, man. Absolute freaking pathetic bullcrap, man. Seriously. And this is it right here. Amazon driver. <laughs> oh, wow. Amazon driver delivering the iPad. Oh, this is the lady saying that. My son's PS5 on launch day, which was also the 16th birthday. Wow. <laughs> I guess that's the son or the, the, the father or the, the wife doing that. The husband or wife that's recording it. Oh, okay. The father, Richard Walker, reported... I'll leave the link down below if you want to check that out on Twitter. If it's still up, it might have been posted down by now, cut down. Okay, um, suspended by, I don't know. Reported to the case on Twitter. He also wanted the person in the nearest Amazon office where they show the images and then recognize the driver's van and their son's employees. After the case was shown on the content, Amazon officials told him about the story for a few hours. They confirmed the Amazon delivery man who stole the PS5 has been Fired. Hell yeah, man. Screw that motherfucking piece of crap, honestly. What an absolute human garbage human person, man. For all thoughts, he's putting on Gladys. Cocksucker motherfucker piece of garbage shit head. Shit stain. Dipshit, man. I'm glad he got caught. I'm sorry, this asshole deserved that shit. You know how scarce as frick that shit is? To even get a PlayStation 5 right now? And the whole planned I'm a scam them a shit going on right now around the world? With the survey sub bug and shit, which is not real, by the way, in my opinion. In my personal opinion is fact, but it's opinion for other people. But yeah, oh, this freaking guy right here is an asshole piece of shit and asshole, man. Stealing some kid's 16 year old birthday. What a cold, heartless piece of crap bastard, man. To do that, to ruin a kid's birthday, and he's supposed to get in the 16th freaking birthday right around Christmas time and around over here in the United States Thanksgiving, which happened right after Thanksgiving, but still. This is absolute insanity, bro. Honestly, it is. And, uh, yeah, let's get into the two big juicy topic stories here. I'm not going to read the whole thing. I'm just going to read half of it. Cyberpunk 2077 footage is, oh, wow, floating around the internet. I know there was, like, another thing. I did a reaction with it the other day. Hopefully you guys can check that out. Links in the description box below. So, uh, here we go. I showed this from, I guess, Otto Crackty. Someone who had to guess, I'm not going to spoil any spoilers and shit over here, I promise. Someone who had to guess that this would eventually happen, physically, physical copies of Cyberpunk 2077 is out in the wild. The gameplay leaks has already made it onto the internet. 20 minutes of Nomad backstory streamed live for the PS4 and PS4 Pro. Footage of the game is quickly running and make it, making its way around the internet and reset era forms. Hosting multiple now deleted in the live streams, links in the streams. The folks streaming it either had high focuses on the game or too giddy to take their time down with it. Skip through the character creation and get right to the meat of the prologue. The Mo Nomad prologue is one of the three otherwise placing the two Vs into the shoes of the Night City. Street Kid is a cold-blooded corpo, a peak to the cyber life country life. And all the gameplay shows is shows in the leaks is too spectacular. And it's not a whole lot of everything. It's already available through the multiple trailers and gameplay videos. have already been released. It shows the players fixing up some souped-up buggy, speaking with the town sheriff, who sports a pair of augmented hands, obviously. And then some of the driving around in a wasted waste of outside Night City. There seems to be some graphical downgrades and slip-ups in the video as well. V's body parts pop into in and out as he's looking at a mirror and textures generally look muddy. However, this could be chalked up to the version of the game. And this tweet here from this person, Harris, I don't know who this is, maybe he's a real big, I don't know, TikToker, YouTuber, Instagrammer, or whatever the fuck he is, Twitch streamer, I don't know. It says, well, but the retail copies come around the wild. Tread lightly to avoid spoilers. Definitely. You gotta give Matt props to this dude, Paris. Again. Yes. Be extremely careful and cautious if you're watching on the spoilers. I'm watching the spoilers for Cyberpunk 2077. I watched a little bit of it, but it was from the gameplay from GameStop and IGN. So I know that shit's legit. So there wasn't any spoilers in that. It was like six, seven minutes, maybe a ten minute video. I don't know. Ugh, I really don't want any fucking spoilers. I'm going to be playing the shit in this on my PS4 Pro because I do got that still. Thank God. <laughs> I cannot wait for this freaking game. I'll see my boy Keanu freaking breathe. That's Johnny Slowbrons, man. 
I saw pieces of it already, man. When he's playing the green screen effects, freaking badass. Now let's get into the last bit of news. I don't like to talk about this tea spill and drama news on YouTube, but I have to. Actually, started from a TikTok, Instagram social media influencer. Not this dude right here, James Charles. Or this chick, Trisha Paytas. I don't even know. I've heard of this bitch a few times before. I'm not surprised. I really, really can't say what I feel as my personal opinion is disgusting. No offense, I don't to LGBTQIA, but what I see here, yeah, he might say he identifies as a woman and a female and that she hurts bullshit pronouns on fucking Twitter and TikTok and Instagram and all that fucking crap, but it's a man. It's born genetically as a man. Absolute dude. I don't see no woman or female in that shit. Yeah, he might sound like a girl and put makeup like a girl, but my personal opinion is... I don't believe that shit, period. It's a fucking man, and you got, you got your two, like, steel brass, you know what, nuts down there, and your sausage? <laughs> You're a fucking man. I'm just saying. Hopefully that wasn't too hatred. Hopefully it doesn't count as hate beats YouTube algorithm. That's just how I see it. TikTokers are making memes about Charlie Delamino losing 1 million followers in a drama suit with Chris Page, and I found this from E! On Entertainment Tonight. I know I saw this in Business Insider India, but I saw, saw, saw this somewhere else, too. I'm trying to see which one that it was. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's what it was. ET Online. I'll leave the link to the video down there. It's, it's freaking catastrophe as frick, man, honestly. Catastrophic. Paige Gwendolyn. That's who it was from. That's what I heard. And then she made this apology video on Instagram. She says, I don't know I'm buying that shit for a fucking second. F that, man. My opinion is just a guilty piece of crap. I'm sorry if I'm going hard on both these freaking people, but I have to. Rachel Greenspan. I'm not reading the whole thing. You know, it's kind of small. So it says, when a viral video shows a 16-year-old TikToker involved. <laughs> TikTokers now, they're calling now. What if, that, to me, is virtual Babylon. Virtual Babylon like a mother effort TikTok. Even though I'm a little bit guilty. Like I said a few days ago in my videos, on watching a bunch of anime and, like, anime girls doing TikTok shit and all that. That and some freaking, like, um, has-been hotel sort of thing. Vizzy pop. But that shit was entertainment for me, personally. Everything else on that site is trash, to be honest. Except for those two things. That and video game references. Girls do their cosplay in there. Holy shite on the stick. Shista. I will say that. It's nice. I'm following the app's most popular creator become came a meme. Okay. Charlie did me. Da, 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 da. I read that. In the wake of the drama which also involved Delamino's older sister, Dixie, the beauty guru, James Charles. I've heard about him two years ago, I don't care. The controversial YouTuber, Trisha Paytas. Videos joking about the entire scenario going viral on TikTok. A series of dramatic and unfortunate events begins Tuesday when Delamino finally posted a video on their YouTube channel featuring James Charles. I actually heard this from my boy, Dumpy. Shout out to him. And I think I'm not sure, Repsion. In the video, both Delamino and sisters did say that the things that led to criticism, Aaron May, the private chef, cooked dinner for the family. Dixie did not like May seafood. Panila, Panela or Panila, I you say that shit. And she said she actually threw it up. And then again, Charlie asked if he says he had any, they had any dino nuggets instead. Later in the video, Charlie said that she wished she could have been able to hit 100 million followers within a year. I think that was for Instagram or TikTok. I don't fucking know. Commentators on the video, which has over 11.4 million, million views, came um, the entire... Oh, God. I hate these stupid-ass family channels. Most of them are fake as shit. My opinion. I'll get to that in a second, though. I don't know about thoughts, views, and opinions on that. I'm going to have no time to get my outro, so whatever. Oh, wow. Calling the girl entitled and disrespectful. Very fucking disrespectful. In the mass exodus of millions of followers, Charlie's TikTok took a few days. Also goes on to say, now that TikTok is making video jokes about the entire scenario involving Chris Paytas, she criticized Elmino's and TikTok and previously called Charlie Boy in the podcast. Oh, Dixie herself has a situation nerding and all players rapping. Oh, that word. Many controversies. She eventually did a lead of TikTok. Yeah, overall thoughts, views, and opinions. A lot of these family channels are freaking crap. They're fake. A lot of them are super entitled, scripted stuff. It's like watching a fake documentary in HBO or a fake documentary in Netflix or Hulu or Amazon Prime or all these other freaking like cable podcasting. They're just fake as hell. They're mega script. There's some ghost writers that write this shit for Hollywood. A lot of them, these people live in LA. No offense to anyone. I'm talking about Beverly Hills, only super rich ass places. They're fake as shit. 
They're garbage. All these family channels, they do this super epic crap, and their ugly-ass little boy band hair is just complete mierda. Shit. It's crap. That's all, guys, here for now. Peace on my sauerkraut. Let's get